Hello, hello, hello everybody, Canberra Gaming here. It is a beautiful day on the Kappa Fortress. Yes, we have come up with a name for it. Her name will be the Kappa Fortress from now on. And here, I started work on some missile bays to defend the base. Which, of course, being your only way of gathering resource... No, I didn't... Well, I'm already making mistakes. Surprise, surprise. Not even gonna burn that bridge. It was expected to happen sometime this video. But hey, what can you expect? I'm still fairly new to the game, so it might make it a bit, you know, difficult for me at times. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying. This is the Kappa Fortress. Of course, you want to defend your resources that you're going to get, so I devised this. Oh, there's the antenna I built a while ago. Oops. Well, anyways, of course you want to defend your resource gathering. So, we decided to arm it with missiles and a deck gun off this way. I still have yet to put AI in, but... I said next video I would arm the base, so you guys are going to be seeing that. But first, let me give you a quick walkthrough if I can get in. Ah, crap. Can I? Can I? Can I? I should have made doors. Oh, I did. Duh. Well, things have changed, as you can tell. This is our fuel room, our fuel processing, yada yada yada. This will be the AI room, and I didn't take out blocks over there. Oil resource production and your resource gatherers, and here's the engine room. We also have a fortress controller and whatnot, and I need to fix this because it's going to bug the hell out of me. There we go. Put mirror on while I do this. And I am going to be working on the AI right now, the missiles. Well, yeah, more along the lines of the missiles. So AI, let's put an AI mainframe in first. Everything's situated. The missile controller here. Missile controller. Boom. Okay. Do the six way connectors now. Actually, can I do this? No, I cannot. Whoops. My bad. Uh, I guess that's why I did the floor the way I did it. Well. Actually, you know what would be even better? Let's put the missile controllers over here. And put the six way connectors into it. This should give us a bit more room to work with in the missile bays, hopefully. I'm gonna cross my fingers and just say hopefully. I have a center to go off of, so my OCD might be ready to kill me by the end of this video. We'll find out. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Nope. I can do this. Don't know why this didn't hit me before when it came to building missiles, but eh, I'll live with it. Do a launch pad here. Boom, 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 boom. Mess that up, oh god. OCD. Alright. And I can always cut holes into these to put the ejectors. I mean, I could also downscale the missile bays and make them to where they only carry eight and rely more on deck guns. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. Cut it down a little bit because I can fit more armor here. 
this will, nine times out of ten, probably be the front, so... Okay, that, like I said, OCD, OCD, gaming OCD. coffee. Well, anyways, Kappa Base, or Kappa Fortress, whatever you want to call it, is a... actually one of my better designs throughout my game. I tried to go for a semi-heavily armored, well, it's mediumly armored, but, you know, it works. I guess that's all that really matters, it works. Put a hole down there. Try to elevate the control or the laser emitters. Two laser emitters. This will give it a full view. Hallelujah. So, in the event of enemies trying to rush us, we will have at least 16 missiles flying towards them and the deck guns. Which, as far as I can tell, they work. I haven't tested them out in combat yet. But, you know, we haven't seen any enemies either. In this video, I'm going to be doing an idea I learned from Enter Elysium. A balloon with a radar dish. Which is actually brilliant on Elysium's part. I'll give him that. It doesn't connect it to the base. It makes it disposable, where you can always just, you know, if it gets shot down, just send another one up. They're cheap. Okay, can't get you. I still need sleep. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying before I got sidetracked. They're cheap. And, of course, they work. that That's really what it comes down to in these types of games, is whatever works. And, fortunately, those work very well. I'm actually going to go ahead and change these missiles. Instead of the explosive warhead, let's do a... Where's a fragmentation? There we go. Assign this. There we go. Now, let's get out of building mode and test this. Jump on the roof because, you know, we love to blow the roof off the place. You're connected. Oh, my bad. Why are you... Oh, my bad. Now, I'm trying to get them to fly to the target, and they are doing a good job. I I've had problems with missiles before where they don't like to fly in the direction they should be. So, that's always fun. Well, anyways, they seem to be working, which is good. Good for my part. Now, back to what I was doing. Let's go ahead and rearmor this. So, if these do get taken out, we don't have to worry about the base getting taken out. Which is always a plus. Okay. I forgot to put mirror on. Yay me, I'm stupid. Whatever, I'll just go with it. It's too early for me to be recording. Usually I record late at night, just out of boredom. You know, it works too, so I have zero complaints there. Let's go ahead and put card slots into the AI, because, you know, card slots always come in handy. Let's go ahead and do naval AI, fortress AI, Target prioritization. And what else can we do? Tracker target. Boom. Now let's go ahead and put a wireless transmitter on. Because wireless transmitters very much come in handy. People will argue otherwise. It's. If you're gonna believe them, they're full of shit. I'm going to go ahead and test the AI out by building a little target over here. It's just going to be an AI with a... 
actually, what am I doing? I can go into camera and do it. It's just going to be a little AI with a target. I can't think. Actually, you know what? There's something else I need to do. I caught myself because I am stupid most of the time. Put a staggered fire on the missiles. Okay, now I can go over here. Tab, camera, shift. Let's go out in the distance and build a little... A new object, vehicle, F3. Oh god. I can't see anything. So, apparently I'm not building it as far as I wanted, but, eh, oh well, I can live with it. Take this out of keyboard mode. This will be the front. I'm not really worried about designs, I just want something that will float long enough to test out the AI. Just so I know whether or not it works whenever, you know, enemies come to attack us, pillage us. All that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and try that. Yes. Go to battle. Now, I don't have the AI hooked up to the guns. I'm. This is just a proof of concept to see if it works. So apparently it isn't going to work. Even though I know I have the missile controller hooked up. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, I was being stupid. I'm pretty sure I messed something up here. Oh, wait. Stupid me. Maybe? Okay, it's on. What? This is why I do testing. This is the exact reason I do testing. Because it really comes in handy to know if it's going to work. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, you know what? Screw it. They will probably end up floating back up and hitting it because... Probably hit my own base. Which isn't the best option. Oh, there we go. That time we got him. Now, of course, thank you. Let's find out what that problem was. I'm probably just being stupid and it's something so simple I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Again, no mainframe connection. Now, 
Why is that not connecting? That, that is my real question here, is why is the AI not connecting to Okay, whatever, I, I'm not even worried about it, I... I'm just gonna say screw it. And you know, we did our job. I will continue building this off camera, this was just kind of a little status update. So, in the meantime, I will see all of you gamers later, and it has been a beautiful, beautiful day.